All right, so we finished reading Love That Dog together today in class. We've been doing it over the last couple of weeks, and my only regret is that we were not able to be in class and go through this novel together. I feel like we missed out on so many fun things that this novel has um, that we could have incorporated. So I'm sorry. I really had intentions of making it so much longer and spending so much more time in it, but I think we did pretty good. Um, one thing that is kind of cool about this story that I didn't read to you or I didn't tell you is that Miss Stretchberry gets to loop with her students and gets to be Jack's teacher again next year the same way I get to be your teacher again next year. And at the very back of the book, hate that cat, Jack starts writing to Miss Stretchberry again. So I'm going to read you a portion of Hate That Cat. Jack, room 24, Miss Stretchberry, September 12th. I hate that cat. Hate a dog, sorry, like a dog hates a rat. I said I hate that cat. Like a dog hates a rat. Hate to see it in the morning. Hate to see that F. A T black cat. September 13th. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you liked cats. Didn't know you have one. Oops. September 14th. More poetry? You think we will remember what we learned last year, right? What if we don't remember? What if our brain shrunk? What if it's too hard? But I'm glad you're my teacher again. I hope you will keep moving up a grade every year along with me. You understand my brain. So next year I'll be in fifth grade with you. Do you think I should move to sixth grade also with you? <gasps> it's probably not going to happen though. It'd be fun though. September 19th. No, I can't write any more about my dog Sky. Maybe all of the words about Sky flew out of my head last year. I think about him all the time, and I see him in my mind, and some of his yellow fur is still on my yellow chair, and sometimes I think I hear him, rum, rum, the sounds he made when he was happy. But no, I can't write about Sky any more. Maybe I could write about a cat. I mean, cat. A crazy, mean, fat, black cat. Although, my Uncle Bill, who is a teacher in college, said those words I wrote about Sky were not poems. He said they were just words coming out of my head and that a person has, or that a poem has to rhyme and give and have a regular meter, and symbols and metaphors, and on a mono something, and a litter something, and I wanted to punch him. September 21st. Another thing Uncle Bill said, another thing Uncle Bill said was that my line should be longer, like in real writing. But here's what happens when I try to make them longer. The page is too wide and the words get all mumbled jumbled and it makes my eyes hurt all the white space on the edge of the page so far away. In order to get all the words written down that are coming out of my head, I have to forget the commas and periods or I have to go back and stick them in and stick them all over the place like this, which looks, ugh. if you ask me, stupid. But if you write short lines, a person knows where to breathe, short or long, and I have to read all those long lines, and I don't want to write them either. That's all the commas. Really weird, right? He didn't do it correctly. September 26. I wish you would tell my Uncle Bill that all those things you said, about all those things you said today, about all our rhythms and in our own images bouncing around like words, making them poems. And yes, I understand that if I am ever the President of the United States, 
I might be expected to write very, very long lines, but in the meantime, I can make my lines short, short, short if I want to. Oh, my page is stuck, stuck, stuck. But if you told my uncle Bill the, all, all that stuff, he wouldn't believe you. He likes to argue. My mother likes short lines. She runs her fingers down them and then taps her lips once, twice. And I think I understood what you said about on a mono something and a litter something and not having to be in a poem and how something sometimes they enrich a poem, but sometimes they can make a poem sound purple. <laughs> purple? Ha ha ha! October 3rd. Okay, okay, I will learn how to spell alliteration and onomatopoeia, right? And I will practice them just in case I ever need them to enrich something. Ready? Um, um, oh, I can't do it. Brain frozen. First, you need to have something to write about. You can't just alliterate and onomatopoeia eight all over the place, can you? All right, so I believe Miss Stretchberry is going to be teaching him a little bit more about alliteration and onomatopoeias in, ooh, Ginger, in, um, in the next part of Love That Cat. So this summer, if you can find a copy, a PDF of Love That Cat, you might want to read it. It would be really, really fun for you to go through with your family. I love you guys, and I hope you have enjoyed Love That Dog.